Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add custom error messages to your contact form seven. Now this is uh, especially important if you have uh, placeholders in your contact form instead of labels. And if those labels maybe aren't as descriptive as they could be. And if you have a long in-depth form, uh, people need to know what they did wrong and exactly what you want of them. So that's where custom error messages come in really handy. If we go to a basic form that we have, the default contact form seven error messages are really just this field is required. So whenever a field is set as required, it just says this field is required. It doesn't actually say what you want from them. Hopefully they can deduce it from the label or the placeholder, but they might not. So as we can see, I didn't enter these required fields. It just says this field is required, this field is required, which is okay, but it's not great. So we're gonna make it great by installing a custom validation plugin. At least that's what it's called. It's not really a validation plugin, but it's, they call it a validation plugin. So we're gonna to go to plugins and add new, and we are going to look up contact form seven. custom validation. Now what we have in the top right is this plugin right here. This is the one I use. It was updated a year ago. It's untested with my current version of WordPress, but it works fine for me. If you haven't installed this one before, or if you're a little bit uh, security conscious, which you should be, you need to back up your site first. Back up all your site files, back up your database, then install the plugin. In case something goes wrong, you have a backup. So I'm just gonna install now because it's a demo site. I don't really care if it goes down. And if it does, that'll make a great video because then I can fix it. Um, anyway, so I installed the plugin, then I click on activate. Now the plugin is installed. And what it does is if we go to our form editor and clicking edit to open the editor, it adds under the messages tab some more messages. So we have a lot of messages already that contact form seven autofills and you can edit. But for our specific fields, if we copy our field name and we search for using control F or command F, we find this is where the error message is. And it says, please fill in the required field. So in here, I'm gonna say, please enter your full name. That sounds a lot better. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look up the your email field. Copy that. Again, Command F or Control F. Find the your email field. And I'm gonna say, please enter your best email address. I'm gonna click on save now. Then we're gonna go back to the form. Reload this page. I'm just gonna click on send again to generate those error messages. And we see here now they've changed to please enter your full name, please enter your best email address, which is a lot better. And if you have custom fields, like more fields than that. So for example, if we put in a required field called um, favorite color, use this one before, I'm not very creative today. So if we use favorite color as the field, and maybe add another one called favorite sport. And then click on save. I should probably add labels to that. Otherwise the form is gonna look a little crazy and people won't know what we're doing. So your favorite color, your favorite sport, add the closing label format the same way as the rest. Now I'll click on save. So both of those fields are required. If we go to our form and resubmit this form, we're gonna see that they just have the default, not so great error messages. So just as we did before, we highlight this, we copy, we go to messages, control F, command F, find, enter a new error message. And that's all we do. Uh, the key is these don't appear, the, the new fields don't appear in the messages tab until you save the form. So when you add these fields here, 
and you're done adding them, click on save, and then you can go to the messages tab and find the applicable error message. And that's all you do to add custom error messages. They're super useful, and I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.